Behind me is a 2003 Toyota Sienna. There's a dent on the rear bumper. I gotta see if I could repair it, fix it. Here's the dent. I tried using this heat gun on it. It looks like the heat is making the color change. So it's not a good idea to use the heat gun on it. I'm gonna take the bumper out and then I'll use the heat gun on the other side of the bumper and I'll try to push the dent back out. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this bolt out and I'll take this bolt out. There's one, two, three, and four. I gotta take those two, four. Wherever they're called, I gotta take them out. I took this one out, it's, it came out broken. Okay, this piece came out, we didn't break. This one I could reuse. This is how you take it out if you do reuse it. First, you put this in, and then you put this second. This is under the bumper. <laughs> A screw here, a screw. Looks like these are plastic. And then I gotta take this out. There's one. Two. Three. Four. This back here is looks like it's a screw, and it might be plastic. It's not working. It's not coming out. I'm gonna try this other one. This one came out, I don't know why. I don't know why the other one won't come out. Got fire here. I gonna I gonna use the plier to hold it. So the plier was holding it like this and then I was able to turn the screw because if the plier wasn't holding it, it would just be turning like this. I took this out, it came from here, it came from right there. 
I gonna take another one out and I'll record how I took it out. These looks like they're the same as those clips that were on top of the bumper. Just use a flathead screwdriver. Once this is down, put the screwdriver here and it should come out. This one is, it's kind of strip. I'm not going to be able to take it out, I'm going to just cut it out. <laughs> There's something holding this part onto the car. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like this screw is missing. I didn't I didn't remove this. It it, it was missing. I gotta move this screw. And I gotta try to flip this over and see what's under here. I think there's something holding here because that moving that screw didn't do any help. I was using this flashlight to look under here and it looks like there's something holding here. That screw back there, I gotta take it out so I could see if I could move this out of the way. I took this out, I kind of just pull it out. If you don't do that, it's not going to come out very easy. And there is a screw up here. There's a screw up there behind here. This is the screw that's up here, right behind here. This is on the other side. Looks like this one isn't missing. On the other side, this bottom one is missing. And the other side, this one was a screw. But on this side, it looks different. It looks like it doesn't have the, the screw that's back here like it, the other side has it. I just noticed there's a screw up here. The screw is there. I took the top screw out. It doesn't seem like this screw up here that came out. It doesn't seem like this came with the car. Maybe someone worked on the bumper and they put this screw there. I don't know. I don't know if I took this out the right way. But it came, came out. This top one. They both came out and it looks like I didn't damage it. 
looks like it could be reused. This piece come right off. There's a screw back here. I'm gonna just take it off the way, the same way I, I took the screw from the other side off. Right now, the bumper should just slide right out. See these two plastic round thing? They slide in here. One one slide in here, the other one slides in here. Same thing on the other side here. There should be a circle slide in here and another one in here. But it looks like this one down this clip here is broken. I think this one is for the broken clip. Maybe it got hit by or some. Maybe the bumper got hit. That's why it's, this is kind of damaged, and that clip is broken. So I used the heat gun on the other side and I used this socket extension to push on it. The dent came back out. My mistake was using the heat gun on this side because by doing that it makes some dark spot on the bumper. It will just be, everything will just be the reverse of removing it. I do recommend getting new plastic clip or whatever you call these. Here's the finished work. If you're trying to repair a dent on a bumper, or if you got a Toyota Sienna 2003 or around that year, I hope this video helped you.